Hey fans, Lucky here back at the game from Zombie Modifications. Today, we're doing it work on the Starlet. So, we've just taken her in for a WAF and registration, and she has failed on these lists right here. So first off, we're going to get the three main easy ones out of the way. The steering wheel nut, the two lights. Let's just jump straight into it. Let's start with the hardest of the easiest of the three. So, setting out the wheel nut in the steering wheel. First off, we have these screws right up in here. They are actually star patterns. If you get a flat head or sometimes even a square head, you can get them in there enough where it's not going to round. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get both of them out on either side and we'll jump back to it. Yep, now that you've done surgery, taking out this clip, taking out the yellow clip on the back, lay this very gently down because that is still compressed. And this is the nut that I need to tighten. And it needs to be at, that needs to be at 28 to 39 foot pounds of torque or 40 to 49 Newton meters of torque. We have a torque wrench. So let's get her set up and torque her up to spec. All right, so here's our torque wrench. First off, we have an unlock and a lock. So you first unlock it. And then you have right here your newton meter spec. As you turn it, it goes up and down. So here we are at zero. And because 42 is there, that means we'll be at 40. Now we go up. That will be 42. And we want 40 to 49. So let's say 45. And then we lock her in place. That's now set for 45 newton meters of torque. Let's get our extension and bolts on that, and let's get her in. So we've got our 19 mil right here on our socket, and uh, she is locked in place. Yeah, as hard as she's gone. I'm gonna now go on to here, hold the wheel. It's a little bit hard. Oh. Yep, she's cranked up. Yep, see that? It was literally only one flick out. And now she's tightened. Easy. Let's move on to these brake lights. All right, now that we've got our bulb off after taking the shrouding of your thing, it literally just clips off. We, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of darkening and just a little bit of fizzling on the side there, on the right side. It's a nice new bulb going on in. Straight in there, give her a twist. And then you've just got to sort of angle it up and in there, or else it won't go in. And then you've just got to find your sweet spot. Where it's going to sit down and in, just like that. Click her into place. That one's easy. As we're taking off this panel and popped out this bulb, this bulb looks completely fine. So we are going to chuck a new bulb in and keep this bulb just in case because as he said it was just a bit dim sometimes when they're going to burn out they do just start going a bit dim before they're burning out so we're going to stick a new one in yep just like that look it back in there your panel just like that this panel, just like that. All right, let's connect this battery and see how they go. Yeah, take it off, put it on. Yeah, look at that, primo. Let it off. 
This one is a little bit dim, I can sort of see that. So it looks like it might be a little bit of a loose wire there somewhere. Might have to hunt that down. Alright. Alright, I've hunted down the loose connection. That right there is a terrible, terrible connection. This brass, non-conductive. So now it's losing a whole bunch of electricity running through there because that's not connected properly. Alright, I'm going to try clean this up and make it a little bit brighter. Let's go! Alright, so I've taken it all off and the rewiring of it um, didn't quite work out. As you can see, she's still pretty dim. A little bit better than what it was before, but she's still pretty dim. So I'm going to have to have a talk with that one about that. Now, let's move on to the actual pain in the asses, the three wheel bearings. The main big job. Now that we've got in our car up on all fours, we need to adjust these wheel bearings. We don't need to take the wheels off. We just need to adjust the nut that's inside of here. So what you need to do is you get a, a flathead, right on that lip, hammer in, and twist off, and eventually it's going to pop off. So when we get it to pop off, let's jump. Alright, now that I've taken everything off, you've taken off this little cover and the slip pin. They're covered in grease, they should be. Now this one only needs 14 to 19 foot pounds of torque. That is absolutely nothing i'm pretty sure that works out to be something along the lines of like 20 to 30 newton meters which my torque wrench doesn't go that low so what we're going to do is i'm going to put this on here and i'm just going to tighten it up so i feel resistance which i've just done and then i'm just going to go another quarter turn and then that's it no more a little bit tight probably want to i want probably want to just go back a little bit on that just ever so slightly now we chuck this back on get this to lock her in place Hold that all in place. Caparoonie. Wheel is seated. Done. Alright, I've just got in a one, four, one quarter in nut for the front wheel bearing nut. Now, this torque spec is 216 nanometers of torque. That is a lot. The back, just for reference, is 14 to 19 nanometers. That's 14 to 19 to 216. The amount of force that are on these front bearings are a hell of a lot more. So as I click in, we're going to have to go a lot of force because this is 200 and something nanometers of force. And I'll hear it click. Hold up, I've gone over. I've gone over. Wind it down just a bit. Just wind it down just a bit. It's hard with these cycling ones, because these cycling ones, getting them bang on point, it is a little bit difficult. The last thing you want to do is go over. So, let's tighten her up. Oh, I think she's fucking, she's done. Oh, let's try with the bar on it, just in case, to make sure it's not actually just rubbing up against. But I think that is, that is tight. It hasn't cracked yet, but nah, that's it. That's all she wrote. 
So how much did that give her more? That is a whole nother turn from where I had it. So that's quite a bit. I don't feel any play. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get my brother to step on the brake. I'm gonna give her one last tug just to make sure that it's not just the brakes not being tight enough for it to give her the, the hundred click. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on this display This is war with the enemy